Marauders fans, Mr. Town here, letting you know before the video begins, we do indeed have Marauders apparel on sale, hoodies and t-shirts, the logo right there as well, guys. For all those who choose to support, I want to say thank you very much and enjoy the video. Ladies and gentlemen of the town squad, welcome to our week one team builder of the P4G. We are going up against Psychomore and the Paris Palatodes, and his team is right over here and... Right off the bat, Nidda Queen absolutely scares the heck out of me. My team is not amazing against ground types, but like, I, 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 that thing is just going to be an absolute disaster to get through. So looking at our man Psychomorph's team, that's the first thing that stands the most. But what I think he's going to bring this week is no matter what, he's going to bring like Nidda Queen Registry. That's going to happen no matter what. Um, Rotom Mo might come. Uh, I'm pretty sure a small is definitely going to come. Blaziken might come. It depends on um, what he wants to do with it. What kind of like, what, what kind of team he wants to build against me. Same with Hoopa. Uh, Lapras ain't coming. Draftor ain't coming. Malamar could come. But, uh... Again, it depends what kind of, what kind of uh, uh, offensive pressure and... Um, Oh, excuse me, what kind of moves is what I want to run, but I I, I don't I, I, I definitely don't see Lapras and Dreffer coming this week. Malamar could come, and I think Glade will definitely come, because it's especially bulky and has a lot of coverage options. So, uh, Lola Persian might come as well with, with, with the fake out. So, the, the most likely thing we're going to see is Nidda Queen, Registeel, Persian, Rotom, Swellow, uh, Glade, Malamar, and Blaziken. Those are the seven. Uh, is that math? Nope, that's eight. Those are the eight. <laughs> That I might be really looking out for. So the scariest thing, like I said, is Nidda Queen. If he goes like Scarf Nidda Queen and gets an Earth Power off and like uh, and like takes care of things that can kind of work well against Nidda Queen, such as Blastoise, the only thing that could kind of take an attack from Nidda Queen on my whole entire team. So that thing is scary right off the bat. And uh, oh, I I I just like I I, I helped I I had Envy and Tia build with me. And the first thing it says is like, Envy, how do I get through Nidda Queen? And of course, Envy being the god he is, he had a few few ways of doing so. But obviously in Pokemon, there are no guarantees. So basically, the team they come up with is what we think is the best options, best coverage, and best way to do things are uh, against our man Psychomore and the uh, Paris Patos. So first up over here, my friends, we got this glorious, glorious Lycanroc set. Steadfast! Just in case he does bring... Well, I actually, I see my mask once. Does it really matter? You guys can't see the mask? I think you do. Steadfast. Because guess what? If you want to flinch with Persian, if you even want to think about press a fake out, if the word fake out crosses that cabeza of yours, you better think twice when I got Lycanroc uh, in the back switching free speed boost out to your whole entire freaking team now outside of Scarfers and just click for a kill. But... Obviously, I can't click for a kill because I'm choice banded, but you get the point, my friends. Free speed is phenomenal. So, this is what we got going on. Swellow can put in a lot of work against my team. Uh, we don't like Swellow one bit. Swellow with, like, you're not, you're not going to go with spec set, spec boom burst, because I think, like, Marowak, and you don't want to lock yourself in, because I can easily resist uh, boom burst with my team. It's just, like, easy, but I have options to get around it with my team. Uh, so, you're not going to do that. You're going to go, like, some kind of offensive, beefy, not beefy. Offensive hard hitting Swellow is what I think you're gonna do. So, to make sure Swellow can never get the ball rolling, to make sure Swellow can never sweep, to make sure Swellow can never lead you to victory, we have Excel Rock Choice Banded like a rock right now. Now, why Choice Banded? Without rocks, Excel Rock will not kill Swellow, unfortunately. And to make sure it does die, or I mean, it might have a chance to kill, I forgot the calc exactly. But the reason why we're running Band on it is to make sure this thing will always die, no matter what. And of course, do a lot of damage uh, in general. This thing is fast in this kind of format. This can put in a lot of work. Accelerac hurts really badly. Oko is the Swellow. And it could, it could also uh, clean up um, sort of like some stat, speed stat boost, something crazy. I, I don't know. We have that. Drill Run is our answer. One of our answers of Nidda Queen. Now, he can run a bulky Nidda Queen. He can run a pure offensive Nidda Queen. He can do a lot of that Nidda Queen. Uh, I don't like Nidda Queen. Uh, if it goes Scarfed, um, it's just like, rip me. I have other ways to get around the Scarf Nidda Queen with this team. I should say other ways, but I have some kind of tips and tricks to get around the Nidda Queen if it's Scarfed. But if it's not Scarfed, I don't think it will be Scarfed. It's probably just like straight up Life Orb just to do a lot of damage and keep changing its move up because it wants to have the optimal move. It doesn't want to switch out as if I get Rocks up. 
His only defogger is Rotom and Swellow. And Swellow is about to switch against Rock, so that's that right there. So we have that drawn from Nidoqueen. Queen. Stone Edge to stab and then crunch for that Hooper switch in. Crunch for a Galade because it's neutral and the best thing it does against Galade because Fighting is this Rock, so I need something for that bad boy. And that's such a why we have Crunch. Even Giraffic, we bring Giraffic, but that's, we know we're not drinking. You're not bringing Giraffic this week. Uh, we have those eight mods we prep for. And that's why I think out of those eight, you're going to bring six of the eight. So we'll, figure, we'll, we'll see uh, what happens in the actual battle. But that's our lovely, lovely Lycanroc. Now, our only Nidoqueen answer, if it's Scarfed, is this Blastoise. Rapid Spin to get rid of rocks. Dark Pulse to hit that uh, Hoopa and uh, whatever else I want to hit with Dark Pulse. Basically, just for the Hoopa. Mirror Coat. You go Earth Power on my Blastoise. You want to try to blast the next dimension? Well, guess what? I'm going to... Suck it up, and boom, right back at you. Big damage that is my way to get around that, um, uh, that Nidoqueen right there. Oh, I didn't go over the EVs on Lycan Rock. Lycan Rock's EVs are just enough speed to ask me what it can, and then the rest of the HP, because it can't already outspeed, so I don't think that, so it's a waste making it at max speed. So we make it as fast as possible, that's the next fastest thing, and there you go. Blastoise is just bulky, meant to go around. It must be bulky all around. A little bit of damage in there, just for... The LOLs, uh, but special wall assault vest to make sure we can live this Nidoqueen Queen and dish out some damage right back at it. Also, Scald is there obviously for burns. That's really what all Scald is there for for any water Pokemon, just burn things. So, we got that pretty self explanatory, if you ask me. Heliolisk now, this mon is pretty juicy, he's gonna be choice scarfed. Another backup plan for Swellow. Uh, if Nuna Queen is not scarfed, I could pick it off with maybe even a Hyper Voice, depending on how low it is. Surf up, it's high, Hyper Voice, if it's low enough to that Hyper Voice, and I want to try to catch somebody switching in. Uh, scarfed, almost max speed to make sure we outspeed what we can outspeed, and then we can outspeed Swallow, so we might, or, or the things that are around that speed, might as well go to the next fastest thing, and then put the rest of the HP. Give me a little bulk going on. Dry skin for that random Lapras uh, water attack that you're not going to bring. Uh, maybe you do bring Lapras, but I don't, I don't think it will. He just ain't anything crazy, man. He's just Dark Pulse for the Hoopa, Dark Pulse for the uh, uh, Glade. Just have neutral damage. I mean, I might as well just Volt Switch that bad boy. No T-Bolt because if I'm Scarfed and I go T-Bolt, you just bring in the Nidoqueen. I mean, I mean I'll be a very infinite person to begin with, but if I had to like, do a life or death situation in, that, in terms of the game of me winning or losing, I'd rather go for Volt Switch because at least I'll get out of there. But, uh, and also Envy said so, so you can't argue with Envy. And that is that Marowak. Now, you're gonna see a lot of Rockhead action in this, uh, in this match, in the, in the, in this season. Because Lightning Rod is not always gonna be ideal. And if Marowak gets the ball rolling, not a single mom wants to switch into it. And I want to make sure I don't take any Ruka damage, keep myself as healthy as possible. Lightning Rod in singles is nowhere near as good as it is in doubles. Still a great ability, don't get me wrong, but we got our boy Melo Marriott, the mascot cooking this week. Flare Blitz, Shadow Bone, Earthquake, and then Pain Split. I have no idea what to do with this last move. It could be Willow, but it's not fast enough. It could be a Hidden Power. Uh, it could be Thunder Punch. But at, at the same time, like, Flare Blitz, Shadow Bone, Earthquake hits everything way harder than every coverage move you can put on this bad boy. So Pain Split, because... I don't know. We just have it on there, and we're going to try to see... If it does anything, we'll find out come Sunday for you, my friends. But don't count on uh, a little Marowak getting off that pain split in the upcoming battle. But if I do, uh, there's going to be a damn good reason for it, guys. And you'll see then. Uh, Sitting there with Marowak, make yourself as bulky as possible. Speed Creep Registeel. Fun fact, guys. I just got to speed this bad boy. So you have 68 speed to creep up to 50 base speed Registeel as we are 45. And then to creep other things such as maybe... Uh, I might be honestly it to be on and Rotomo probably those two guys right there if you're not invested I probably speak with Rotomo. Uh, like I said flare blitz not a single switch there for it I mean bla even Blaziken can do over half the Blaziken just cackle right out of yourself adamant fair flare blitz thick club Don the damage is up the wazoo dude insane damage absolutely insane damage my friend so that's where we got that rock head to the recoil and that's simply it with that uh all right nothing crazy then we got Clefairy now. This Clefairy set, I'm actually quite pumped about, my friends, because guess what? We got Softball. We got recovering this bad boy. Excuse me. Yo, side note, I don't think anybody in their life has had Domino's uh, Lava Cakes and not feel like they ate a thousand pounds of 
garbage. Simple as that. Anyway, Clefairy, softball, Stealth Rock, Knock Off, Moon Blast. Now, why is that right there? Well, for example, Moon Blast is there for Gallade. Uh, he knows we want to get a Moon Blast off. We also know that our boy Hoopa, if you bring that, could have Gunk Shot. So Hoopa might be an ideal switch in at the Clefairy where he kills something. If I have Moon Blast and take out the Gallade, if they eat up with an attack, if I have Moon Blast a little Persian. You want to bring in that Hoopa. Now, Gunk Shot is not Stab. It's going to hurt. It ain't going to kill with Eevee Light, but it's really going to hurt. But he's going to be like, ooh, he can't do nothing to my uh to my guy at all. Knockoff times four has a chance to kill after rock damage, I believe that was what the calc was. Um, because it's times three through dark. So that is a glorious thing, but the knockoff plus when I get rid of items. Oh wait, he's before he brings in Hoopa, he's honestly gonna bring a Registeel. But I want to justify I want to live in the idea world ideal world where I catch the Hoopa with knockoff and go berserk. But it's Registeel. It's scary for his lefties. Uh, gets rid of Swellow's Flame Orb, if he rings Flame Orb, but he doesn't get it off yet. Rotom's left is you bring that. Olden Persian's Berry. Uh, Nidoqueen's Scarf, potentially. Nidoqueen's Item, figure out what it is. Just, it's always good to have knockoff, but it's great Clefairy gets it, so. Softball is obvious, Stealth Rock is obvious. We want to get Rocks up ASAP, because like I said, his team does not like Rocks. He doesn't really have good answers to get rid of them either. And that is our Clefairy for this week, but guys, what you don't know, what you don't know is this MVP right here, our boy Durant. Our boy Durant, check this spice out. Agility. To get an agility off, you, you, you want, you, you're gonna like go for whatever with Rotom Mo, Volt switch out on him, or maybe you're scared to die into an X's or you don't wanna risk the hustle damage. Boom. You switch out, uh, and, I, and you bring in whatever. Agility goes off, and then the fun begins. The downside though, is that Ground DMZ Dig can only catch Nidoqueen or Registeel. I can't kill them both. It's going to be one or the other. And we're going to uh, hopefully get that off to begin with. It might not even have, he might even read the Z move. I have no idea what, who Psychomore is. I have no idea what his style is. I have no idea what the man, how the man plays like. Uh, I know he's French and that's about it. Uh, I think he's French. I might be, I'm assuming he is because Paris Polyclose and his YouTube channel isn't in English. I'm going to assume it's French. Anyway. X's are under obvious. Ground MZ, believe it or not, guys, Oko's Registeel fully defensive. Insane, insane fact. And guess what? It still gets hustle boosted, but Z moves, as you all know, cannot miss. And that, I think, is one hidden gem about Durant people do not know about. Not only is 109 speed amazing, but the hustle still kicks in on the calculator, at least. I don't know if it's actually in the mechanics, but the calculator, the damage is there, and will Oko. Uh, non bulky. It, it Oko is Nidicoon Register Steel. But I gotta hopefully get off on of one of them. So, that is it, my friends. That is the squad. The AVs are the same. Ask me what we can. Burst in the bulk. Max attack. Add a mint. Damage dealing. And that is that town squad. We're back in league play. Marauder is apparel on sale. Get ready. Game one, week one, Sunday, 12 30 p.m. Eastern. See you guys there. Much love. We'll catch you next time.